Hello, it's Tamara Hunter, and today is number 77 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. And I am so excited to be highlighting our service hero today. Her name is Kelly Rodela, Rodela Clarkson. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Kelly. And then I'm going to, I'm so excited. We have so many fun pictures to share too. This is a woman that has been a true service hero on an international basis. Yes, international. And when you hear a little bit more about her, you will see how incredible this beautiful woman is. I mean, she's not just gorgeous outside. She's truly a gem and gorgeous inside. She has been serving people for the majority of her life. And when, again, when you hear her story, it, it's going to be remarkable in your minds. It is in mine. She has done stuff throughout the United States and she has done stuff throughout the world to make a difference. Now, with that, let's welcome her. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you for being here today. Hi, thank you. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> I, I am just so excited. You actually, I have met you not long ago. And when you started sharing your story and in particular, an article that was about you in a magazine and I, my heart, I mean, I don't think I got through it without like tears of, of tears of, of all sorts of tears because you have one of those kind of stories that, that really just hits you it in the heart, doesn't it? Yeah, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. It was something that's been on my heart for quite some time, and I just got the opportunity. So I just kind of, you know, I laid a little foundation, and I would love to do a continuation one day and go deeper. And so that's my ultimate goal. Um, I just want to help people. I really do. I want to help people that have been in my situation, in my shoes and uh, that aren't able to uh, get out of that situation and give them a little bit of hope. Okay, so let's go into a little bit of your story now. You, needless to say, you did not have anything close to the leave it to beaver kind of life growing up, did you? You you had a pretty tough childhood, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, Do you want to share some of that and so people get an idea of where you're coming from? Yes, um, I obviously, you know, I grew up you know, with a two-family home with mom and dad. Um, there were some things, um, you know, my dad was the fun, outgoing, but, you know, he, he drank. Um, he was an alcoholic, and I'll just say that. Um, so, you know, he stopped drinking. I think it was about 14 or 15. Uh, he stopped drinking, but my parents split up. And by then, you know, we had moved around different places and things like that. And there was a lot of things, a lot of really deep things that, you know, just hurt um, that I had to kind of get over. I ended up at the age of about 15 years old living with who I call uh, Mama Julie. And I lived with her and she kind of helped me out, you know, mentored me and, and kind of put me on um, a path and you know I went to school every day that was a huge thing and uh, so I, I loved her um, mm -hmm. I ended up there for a little while and from the things that I saw as far as abuse and things like that I thought that was normal I just I didn't know um, too much you know I, I saw different things and as I grow, grew older and I went through these experiences myself it was nothing for me to be beaten or uh, tortured and things like that. And so I just, I would accept and just forgive and forgive. And um, I, I think I was about 16 years old whenever I very first tried to take my own life. I, I absolutely just thought there was just no way out. I just didn't, I hated it. You know, I, I wanted something. And no, I, I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted, but I wanted something so much more. Um, then a couple of years later, 
Um, I, I ended up having a relationship with someone who was very, very physically, mentally, emotionally abusive. And um, to the point where actually we had a son and um, he was he was mean. He was very mean and rough. And I got through that by the Savior. I actually had this uh, lady that came up to me in a gym one day and she said, you know, I was uh, told that I need to come and talk to you that, um, you know, I was told to come and talk to you and you need to get out of the situation you're in or you're going to die. And oh. so that, that to me really, really hit me. And so for some reason I got the strength and I was able to get free from that. But um, I had a little more trauma along the way, other things. And I decided that I was going to turn my life around. Um, I got out completely away from all of it, moved two hours away. I put myself through college and I just separated myself. And I said, you know, I don't want that kind of life. I don't want to do it. Um, my sister ended up passing away of a drug overdose. Um, and then a year later, my father passed away of cancer. So it was, I had already distanced myself to the point where you know, it was very hard to go back into that. And I ended up meeting my husband and we ended up going and traveling. You know, he's in the military. He's a 100% disabled veteran. And uh, we've had to build our life. Um, you know, I've been from living in Jesus houses to us, you know, having no heat, no food. Um, you know, there were times where my husband wouldn't eat for you know, days just to make sure we had enough food to feed, you know, to feed his family. And so that was something really huge. Um, and I knew, sorry, um, and I knew okay. that it's going to go, you know, we were going to be okay. And so after going through all of that, when we moved back to uh, Oklahoma City, I think it was about 2011, he ended up getting a job offer for a Walmart corporate in 2011 or so, sometime, sometime around then. And then I ended up going on a mission trip to Honduras. And okay, so yes, let's talk about that. All right, so let's recap and then uh -huh. let's 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 go forward. So in, in, in truth, you had, from your childhood, you had a tremendous amount of PTSD. You had been abused in multiple different ways by multiple different people. You had uh, been in in marriages or in relationships that were going to possibly kill you if you didn't get out. And you then get yourself out. You get the strength and courage to educate yourself to uh, start finding a new life. And you found it. And then yes. you end up going international and take what it is that were the struggles in your life in your life and start serving right correct correct let's do this um, i may have some of the pictures mixed up but you have okay. some of these pictures of and and i'm just going to start showing some of your like uh your that you've been kind of all over the place and i mean they may not be in the right order or anything but you you've been to honduras you've helped in recovery for um or you've helped with hurricane harvey you've helped with uh getting kids school supplies every year um you have been there for family members you were telling me that you have been actually helping to mentor your uh one of your sister's kids right and and you that. have just taken a life that was pretty tough and found a way to help yourself but also help others right correct correct and that's something that i've always wanted um i i love helping other people that is something that's been embedded in me for for a long long time um my nieces and nephews um i've got a niece that's you know in prison and uh, i'm also part of kairos ministry team um but anyhow she's there and she's got kids 
And, you know, it's, it's hard. It's very hard when you have so many and, and things like that in, you know, we also have great in our family, a lot of good. So I'm not going to say we don't, but when you, when you start hitting those things and there's a lot of deep wounds and a lot of things from your past, you, you've got to be that person and you got to find that strength to be the head for other people. And so that is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to be a really good example. And I want these little ones to follow, hopefully follow in my footsteps one day and, you know, be, do good in life. There's a lot of wonderful things, but you've got to have somebody there to help you get out of situations. Right. So I, it's, it's really beautiful. And Honduras changed me, completely changed my life. In what way did Honduras change your life? Um, I actually went to Honduras thinking that I was going to help them. And I thought, oh, I'm going to be able to help these people. You know, it'd be amazing. Um, you know, and I, I felt it. But I will tell you, the week prior, everything was trying to pull me back um, to not go and to not do mission work. And so it was like every obstacle was being thrown at me at that time. And anyhow, whenever I got there, um, and I have a pretty solid relationship now with my mom, um, which is a huge blessing, but she told me something really fascinating that, you know, I was actually not supposed to be born. And um, so that to me hit me. It was a really eye opener and I kind of, you know, it took me a while. It took me a lot of years to understand that. And whenever I found out that, you know, no, I was not in an accident. Of course, I wouldn't be pretty good, but, um, and I have other purposes in life. So that to me was huge. And these kids really changed me. I mean, just being able to relate with some of them on a deep level. Some of them have been raped as I have or mentally abused, sexually abused, emotionally abused, and they have gone through all of that. I was able to talk to these kids and really get on a deep level with them. And it was hard. It's like, you know, breaking ice to be able to get some of these kids to open up. And I was so thankful by the end of that trip, we had thousands of people that were saved and just so many different ways and so that was a beautiful moment for me and so I told myself from then that you know I wanted to travel the world I wanted to do something and go and, and try my hardest to make a difference in this world because you know we live in a pretty it can be a pretty dark world and I've seen that side and I definitely don't want to go back to that side and I'm, I'm really hoping that I can pull others you know out of it and that's that's what I really want to do. You know, and, and I can see that completely. I mean, thank you for what you do. Thank you for being so open and honest with a story that some people would actually hide. They would hide behind it. They would say, you know what? I just don't want to think about it anymore. It's over. I'm going on with my life. But uh, instead, you're going the opposite and you're saying, okay, I've been there. I've done right. that, but right. now I'm here to help you. And you know what? We're going to help you get through this, and then you'll be able to do this. And it's that whole domino of the good stuff that can happen that that would say, okay, I'm going to own it. I'm going to own this, and I'm going and and in it, it's also going to help me to own it in a healthier way. And then it's that whole idea of service, this whole idea of a service hero. Service in serving others, when we lose ourselves in service, we often find ourselves. And it's an eye-opening experience. And it is so freeing when that happens. You know what, thank you for doing that. I, 
I can't even, okay, I, I have to go somewhere because you're just so absolutely gorgeous inside and out. And and I actually asked some questions and I got the aha when you answered them because I was getting on Facebook your one name, but then when you were sending me some stuff over, you're another name. And so I even had to change the name on the intro uh, once because it wasn't good. It wasn't going to connect with the Facebook you were explaining to me that Kelly Clarkson, yes. wink, wink, guys, yes. that name is already taken. Because you are actually, um, uh, you have decided to take a lot of what you've been through and that that emotional tapping in and and also use it for the arts, right? You're you're putting yourself out there to be an actress, right? Yes. And I oh, that is so every, exciting. It is Pardon? everything it feels like that I've been through, I'm able to act out that and it helps me in a huge way to really dig deep and it's really fascinating to me. Um, if I, you know, I've been through the happy times, the sad times, the trauma, everything. So for me to dig in that deep level, it just comes very naturally now. It's like, you know, it's put on these little different stepping stones along the way so that I could, you know, become a better actress one day and do what I am very passionate about. And I, and I absolutely love it. Um, and so that's, you know, that's another thing I would love to do is one day is be able to show, you know, some of these kids and everything that, you know, it doesn't matter where you come from, what you've done in your life, your past does not define who you are as a person at all. And I, you know, I look at what I have now, what I've gone through and all the things that we worked so hard for and just never gave up. And to be going forward into my acting career, movie career, now I'm directing, you know, someone. So I, there's so many different doors opening that I am so thankful for. And I just, I appreciate so much. I mean, being an ambassador for Soul Central is another huge opportunity that it's a, you know, it's a, but to me, it's a huge blessing. And to be able to share my story through there and, you guys can obviously buy a copy so that that those things are huge for me and it's a continuation it doesn't have to in there i can continue and go in a deeper level and i think it's it's good for people to understand that it just doesn't define you and right right and 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 you're a living example of that and we'll put some information in regards to what it is that you shared okay. that someone can i wasn't clear on what it is that you were uh, that they can buy but um, what, what was that? Because I, if I wasn't clear, they may not be either. So uh, my, I, I don't know if you're familiar with Soul Central Magazine uh, uh, globally. Oh. Okay. So, All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, and that is an amazing article. In fact, that you okay. sent that over to me, and that's why I wanted to talk to you because it was like, wow, th there's so many elements to you. Uh, before we, you know, because I, I know we've been talking for a while, but I want to bring one other thing up that you you mentioned because I know how important it is. You are uh, uh you are a military wife. Yes. And your husband. And there's a whole story to it, and we won't have time to go into it. Guys, this her her life is truly a story. She needs a book. She needs a book. Um, contact her if you want to talk to her more about it. But um, your your story with your husband here. You're you're a single mom. You're you're you've got you you're divorced. You've gotten yourself out of um, some pretty gnarly situations. You get to go out and serve, and your wonderful husband is is struck down with tell us what he's got he is uh he has polycystic kidney disease um and his father actually had went on dialysis and he passed away a few years ago um and he was a military service member as well um and my husband does have the disease um he also has very very high blood pressure that we've been trying to control he's had one stroke and one heart attack um, in the last four years. Um, and how old is he? He is 35. So right. 
he's he's pretty young and um, shouldn't have to go through all that. He actually also passed away on um, on a bed in the uh, military hospital in Bethesda, Maryland. Um, he was in there and um, doing a back surgery. He's a disabled veteran, and all of the uh, the little uh, droplet droplet of the morphine dumped all into his body at one time. So he ended up um, dying for a few minutes. Uh, so that was another thing on top of everything. And he just, he has a hard time. And I, you know, I'm, I'm here and I've been here for so many things every step of the way. And we have kind of fought this journey together. It's been one of those things. And, but he's been, he's been okay. He's working. He's 100% disabled, but he has a full-time job. So for him, that's huge. You know, that's huge. And I and it's huge for anyone. That's amazing. I mean, that shows the love and compassion he has for your family and for you that he doesn't want to have that all on you. And so that's an example. I, I almost want to call a double service hero situation right now for not only you, but also what's your husband's name? John. What John. is it? John. Dawn for Dawn. Dawn. With J with a J. Oh, John. A little yeah. deaf here. Sorry. <laughs> um, so it's John Rodella. No, that's no. no. John Clarkson. Yes. yes. Okay. John so second. you can tell this wasn't pre planned, guys. Um, we are calling a double service hero today because we are going to oh. call you a service hero, but we are also recognizing for day number 77. I've never done this midstream, but you know what? Hey. <laughs> I think outside of the box, guys. Okay, so day number 77 of 365 Days of Awesome. Celebrate success through service. We want to also recognize John Clarkson for being an example of what a service hero is all about. He is not giving up, though he has had he has health challenges that would put most people in bed and they would not they would be they would just give up. But he has not. He is he is he's serving his family and those that he's working with and he is making each day count and this is a disabled 100 percent disabled vet that is showing us that life doesn't end until life ends and and you were telling me that he is pretty challenged right now isn't he yes, he is um every day when he comes home you know he's mentally and physically exhausted um, I, I told him, I said, you know, one of these days I'm going to do something and you're going to stop working. You know, that is really, I'm working really hard towards that because it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure for, you know, a family and kids and, you know, everybody. It's a lot on him. And so I hope to be able to take that pressure off of him one day so he can actually you know, live a little longer and be able to enjoy life a little more instead of working all the time. And then, you exactly. know, when he's, home, he's exhausted and it, it's it's heartbreaking to me. Okay. And now I want to, uh, sorry to step on your words, this picture yeah. of the folded flag. I have my father-in-law. That's right, my is husband. Is that your husband there? Yes, that's my husband. Okay. And so that's actually at my father-in-law's funeral. Okay. Okay. So everybody here, this is John uh, Clarkson and, and I'm, I'm going to, I'm posting a challenge right now, guys. Um, <laughs> if, if, if you have a project, if you have a project that, uh, that you see um, that Kelly might be able to at least try out um, and see if maybe she might work for something. Let's get this woman uh, working in the industry and so her husband can live. How does that sound? <laughs> yes. I think that that's a great challenge, don't you think? Um, I am all about let's you know using using the networking tools that are out there. So um, you know, let's do this. Um, I am going to bring down uh, John uh, beautiful photo of the two of you and I'm sorry okay. that your father-in-law passed away and thank you for his service as a, as a vet and and let's keep this one particular vet alive okay let's not have 
the the life drained out of him because he's trying to provide for his family. Um, can you do me a favor, Kelly? Can you um, send over and let's post it to this. And then people, let's share this, share, 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 and then share again. Because I know a few of you are in the, if you will, entertainment industry. And, <laughs> and I mean, it, this beautiful woman inside and out that has given on a national, international level needs some help. She did not know that I was going to do this. I did not know I was going to do this, no. but let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do, you, let's do this. Do you have, um, I'm sure you do all of your headshot, your bio, all that neat stuff that we could attach to the the comment area so that if they're interested, they could at least go and see what it is or they can at least go in and contact you. Whatever you feel like you want to share publicly, I'm going to leave that to you. OK, but let's 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 send let's have some information that people can learn more about you and how to get a hold of you. Okay. I, um, I want to share, we do have a few comments here. Um, uh, say hi. Hi, Christina. Good to have you here. And um, we saw this a, a moment ago. Uh, Sharon is one of our ambassadors with the buddies, chemo buddies for life. Um, oh. And yes, honestly, which, Sharon's life has been pretty incredible too. She's had an incredible journey. And um, and I think that it's so true. We do have things in our lives so we can re we can relate to other people. And um, and then I have Sandy who has actually adopted me as another daughter. And so she's she's saying she likes the subject. I do too, mom. Amazing woman, huh? And um and very nice, Sharon. You know, God will bless absolutely whatever your beliefs are. Um, that if you believe, truly believe, you know, I do believe that there's so many blessings out there for us, and and I do believe in serving each other, and that's why the whole idea of 365 days of awesome celebrate success, right? Yes. Success through yes. service. So. Yes. As we, I'm going to put your name up one more time, um, I'm because this is the name that you will be going by. This is your maiden name, correct, yeah. Kelly? That's Kelly right. Rodella. Um, and, Rodella. And then if we can also attach to the comment area your article that was about you, so people can find out a little bit more about your background. And then if they want to get a hold of you, they can get a hold of you. And let's, let's. On closing today, we're going to close out day number 77. Thank you for, for what you've done throughout the world, Kelly. And thank you for your heart of service and also your courage to get out there and to share your story that you had everything in your childhood that no one should ever have to endure. You were very, very, uh, I'm going to say this, guys. She told me about some of this. She was very vanilla pudding in compared to what she's really been through. So um, you guys can figure that one out and let your imagination go. And unfortunately, you're probably right. Um, this woman has experienced so much of the the negative and the the, if you will, hurtful things that are out there and look at her she has said <laughs> no way jose as some people i know would say and she took the bull by the horn she took her life under control got an education got away from what was was and and had time to heal through uh through some programs and healed her ptsd and now you're helping others to do exactly the same all the while while your family is experiencing, and you are many times a, a caretaker, when your husband is so exhausted, you need to be there for him while he's there for you. What an incredible story. And if we can help this family in any way, let's do it. And and if, I mean, look at this face. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a casting call out there that's going on right now for a woman that has this kind of an, ability to uh oh, thank you you yeah. know and so let's just do that also um just to let you guys know uh kelly is going to be trying to get out to lax 
because yeah. there is going to be the spirit summer and you're going to be hearing a lot about this. I've already posted it once, but for those of you that want to meet the service heroes, many of them will be going to an event near LAX on September the 21st and 22nd. It is called the spirit summit hosted by David T. Fagan and assisted by Allison Larson. This is going to be a summit that is celebrating nonprofits, uh, give, uh, institutions and companies that have a good philosophy, those people that have stories similar to Kelly's to help them craft their story so that it can get out there and make a difference. It is truly about having the spirit of giving. And that is something so exciting that that um, David has actually given uh, the 365 Days of Awesome Celebrate Success Through Service program some time to highlight what we're doing. So wow. Kelly is working to get out there. I know her I'm personally. I, I, I will be out there. Awesome. Okay, so you guys, she's going to be out there. I would love for anybody that has a possible project coming up or anything that um, if you would like to meet her, uh, messenger her or show up and at least say hi. Let's see what we can do. And if you know someone that knows someone, let's see what we can do. Let's get this family so that this family remains a family and they do not lose their father and they do not lose their husband because he needs to work himself literally to death. Let's not let this happen. This woman has a heart for giving. Let's give to her. All right. I can't wait to see you. All right. We're closing day number 77. And thank you for your service, Kelly. Thank you for your service, John. And I will see everybody else tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>